Katja fear most characters in the game. Yeah, I mean, it's it's this is a character with incredibly good neutral. Like, quick attack is, is such an amazing tool. Um, so is T-Jolt in neutral. Uh, yep. Incredible advantage, really good offstage. Uh, you know, I mean, you look at uh, some of the, like, Undisputed. Oh, check out the stickers. Yeah. No, oh my gosh. Say. This this is this is a strong strong water Impressive bottle game. work. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you look at like some of the undisputed best characters in the game, like Sonic. Okay. Mm -hmm. How does Sonic kill you a lot of the time? Forward air off stage. Who else has a multi hit forward air? <laughs> Pikachu. Yeah. That kills off stage. Pikachu. So I mean, there are just so many attributes that are are going to be great, even if it's not meta. Quote, yeah, exactly. And you know, I think we'll start to see that Pikachu renaissance now that Shiny Mark's shown that the character can, can do it, winning majors and nationals with them. Um, yeah. Some really great stuff to part of for moving on and showing off that character strength. But next up, we got a little bit of Luigi Palutena action. Yeah, which uh, Palutena um, kind of applies to what we've been talking about <laughs> yeah. uh, in the context of Pikachu. There's, you know, not a, an especially meta character and there's even been talk about is this character worse than in Star <laughs> and like i actually think that's a decently reasonable <laughs> conversation yeah, just I in mean... the sense that i think incineroar is is undervalued hmm. um but dude i mean how can you just got a, a kit the kit of a winner yeah, absolutely. Like, Palutena's tools are just so good, but, like, in the Incineroar context, and it can kind of be applied to Luigi as well, honestly. Like, I mean, this game is about taking stocks, and when you've got a character like Incineroar and Luigi who do it in different ways, but can pretty much kill you in three hits or three wins or just one neutral win, like, you know, Palu obviously has the tools, but if you're just dying off of a couple lost neutral interactions, like, how how much of a factor is it? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you have to win neutral more times if you character like Palutena. Theoretically, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> she she is it, it, you're you're either a wolf or a Luigi in this game. Facts, facts. <laughs> you're either you're either doing your you know basically like Kazuya one touch and your dead combos, like Luigi, mm -hmm. uh, or or you're wolf where you're just kind of like maneuvering around the stage, like winning neutral over and over again, keeping keeping the characters at the ledge. I mean, both are good, but they are, they are, uh, there's a lot of daylight in between those, those, those design, uh, approaches. Yeah, absolutely true. Um, and we're sort of Good seeing job. that on display now. I will say, I want to shout out that crazy, like, ledge dash from, uh, Obluma to avoid the up smash. I was like, oh my gosh, you're jumping into the up smash, but no, gets that, gets that little wave land and, uh, was able to avoid it, but does lose that stock, as you said. So we've got a little bit of a leak to KC here. Ooh, Ebrima? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, let me know. Um, but the... Oh gosh, I, I got focused on... I got, I got stunlocked on the pronunciation. I want to get it right here. <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, we, we saw uh, it kind of go for a forward smash the other direction. Ebrima. Ebrima. Okay. Gotcha. All right, thank you, production. Thank you. Um, yeah, just trying to read a roll. I uh, just wanted to point that out there. So it was, was kind of spicy. I like, I like seeing where the head's at. Yeah, I like the idea um, going for the big swing there. But, you know, now we're starting to see the benefit of Palutena here, right? Like, doesn't need to go for those big swings to get the damage. Um, nice little turnaround grab. You know, it's it hasn't been terrible for Abrima, but I feel like... <laughs> really has not got his uh, footing for pretty much most of this game. It's pretty much getting ping pong from ledge to ledge and getting some straight hits here and there. Oh my, oh God, my gosh, right. falling out of the nair there actually was, was really unfortunate. I feel like you have a maybe a slim chance if you get sent out by the last hit, kind of, mm -hmm. you know, up and out a little bit, but but that was, that was pretty much GG's there. Yeah, and you know, I honestly rarely see people fall out of that Palunair in that situation. And it's usually that up and out, like you said. So really unfortunate for Abrima, but good stuff to Casey. And now this game, I mean, it's never over if you're playing it as Luigi, but Casey has not given up neutral life at all. Really good stuff from them. Yeah, and like I was saying with Pikachu in the last set, um, Luigi having a lot of rage does uh, kind of force you to go about your, your combo game differently. So, uh, you know, that it just kind of adds a challenge. It's, it's not that Luigi cannot get a kill off a grab here, but mm -hmm. it, might, it might be 
in a different way. And I like going for the down Ooh. smash though. It took the second one to make it work, but it's showing yeah, a little creativity cute. there. Oh, and he's got a grab. Oh my god. Wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. Going for the re-grab. I mean, but, but that's 62 right there. Yeah, I mean, an unsafe move on shield could lead to an up, an up B, and I believe that'll probably kill it this percent with the rage. So now, all of a sudden, Casey's got to be a little more careful here as Azrema is looking strong. Eight. Oh my gosh. Okay, good DI out of the throw. Yeah, now back in the corner, this is where Palu can really shine. Let's see what the option is. Uh -oh. oh, and again! Oh! Again falling out of the nair. You haven't seen it much, but you wouldn't know it from this set. And I'm judging from the reaction of these two players, they haven't seen it much either. <laughs> yeah, both of them laughing it off there. Um, definitely a little goofy. I, I don't really know why it happened so consistently in that um, game. Yeah. But, you know, if you're Casey, you're not complaining about it. Yeah, it just sort of falls out. That's so strange because Luigi has really, really bad air drift. Yeah, so, like, like mm -hmm. I, I, I'd, I'd be less surprised to see, you know, a character like Yoshi <laughs> if you just like, you know, you're mashing your SDI, you mm -hmm. got higher air acceleration, with more of a shot of accelerating in the air out of that move. But yeah, I don't know. Hitbox is I have no idea. The only the thing I could draw between those two was that Luigi was at like super high percent in both situations. Maybe the multi hit just messed up because Luigi was being ping ponged around so fast. I have no idea. Regardless though, yeah, uh, that ended up in a win for Casey, and we're on to this game two here on small battlefield, and starting much the same as the previous game did. A lot of control yeah. here for Casey. We did have a grab for Uber uh, early on, but tried to kind of reset on the platform and couldn't actually take anything out of it. And instead, Casey takes the first stop there. Yeah, great stuff. With a raw F smash, by the way. I know. Like, we. I, I was speaking a bit about how Casey was not overextending and sort of getting what they needed to, but in that situation, they were like, yeah, I can get yeah, F smash here, why not? He gets the early kill and just goes for it again. Oh man, close misses on these fire jump punches, especially the first one. Yeah, that's I do like to see the, the down B, the cyclone coming out because um, there are three invincible moves <laughs> on screen here, and Palutena only has two of them. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to see. It's such a good get off me tool as well as kill move off of a throw at higher percent. Um, ooh, off stage. Going for those down smashes again. Um, and yeah, I, I do like to see the cyclone here. Um, and the light play does result in a back throw kill from Ibrima. So I really like Ibrima is a very creative Luigi, and um, they have a lot of really cool ideas. But he just has not been able to convert them into kills too much yet. Um, at this percent, though, I mean, it could be anyone's game. Like, let's see what this grab does. Not much. Oh gosh, wasn't able to actually get the grab combo, but still turned it into 43 percent. Yeah, it's it's crazy that that is actually like forty three percent off one interaction is is a failure for this character. Oh yeah, um, you know when you can turn it into a death, forty three feels a little bit you know, disappointing, um, but still not bad. Although again, got pushed to the corner and picture perfect textbook Palutena let's play there from PC, looking very strong to take this game to end the set. But let's see if Adina has anything to say about that. We're starting to see some uh, Luigi S gameplay from Palutena there on Casey. <laughs> Nairs and up airs. Luigi's detail is so funny. It's really good and annoying, but it's very funny to look at. <laughs> you know, I like that swing there. Yeah, why pretty, not? pretty low risk for for Casey on the, uh, the downer. Oh, but Gotta no. be careful though. <laughs> Do it too I many mean... times. You uh, yeah. you might you know. Make it burn. We did. Yeah, we'll see, see that. how the rest of his game goes. You know, yeah, you I mean, he's kind of nodding. Really like, okay, I know so. I, I went a little too hard there. Ooh, oh, nice DI. He's going really hard on the SDI to get out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, we've got, again, really good control of center stage from Casey here once again. Uh, Grimma now taking control, pushing them to the corner. Oh, what a mix Not up. like that. They didn't oh like that. God. It's like that. Ooh, cringing on camera. <laughs> We're going to game three though. It's okay. it's okay. We are. You know that was really smart. Going for the jab, jab, wait. Like obviously anyone in the world would expect you to finish the jabs there. But I mean, there's that creativity from Ibrima coming in clutch there. You know, um, 
Really yeah. I mean, this was that bear that again essentially didn't quite you know I won't say it alone locked Casey the game, but it certainly didn't help. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of shocked that that Luigi down there caught. Um, I don't know if that would have been drop off, you know, from mm -hmm. ledge option potentially. Oh, big damage again! Not as much as as, as you want to see as Luigi made. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that cyclone is, but. Yeah, sure. it, it's been good SDI from Casey throughout the set, definitely. But For sure. I, I feel like already in this game three, um, Casey's looking a little more flustered, a little less comfortable, and the Brimmer's kind of taking that momentum from that little steal at the end of game, three, game two, rather. Um, so let's see, this could be an upset here. Um, or, oh no, sorry, I read that wrong. It would not be an upset, these two are pretty close in rank. So it's at least a very close set. I just, I, I had to, I couldn't help but chuckle at that um, up B from Yurima <laughs> and in neutral, because uh, that happens to me when I play other characters that are not Yoshi sometimes, and mm -hmm. I <laughs> do up B in neutral and go, oh wait, oh god, I don't have eggs. <laughs> I don't, because I don't, I don't know what else is the explanation there, but that's, uh, that's what it would be for me. <laughs> yeah, maybe a Brima going for something raw, and then we're seeing a lot of rock kill moves being thrown out here. <laughs> And gets one. Wow, the fireball into the reverse smash up smash, and this is a pretty significant lead for uh, Ebrima here. Yeah, it's been kind of a slow pace uh, mm -hmm. so far in this game three. I mean, both both these players have a lot of data on each other at this point. I right. uh, want to make the most of it, not forcing anything. Although I think that up smash might have been a little forced. Good di out to get away from that situation. You'd rather play Luigi at the ledge than in the blender. At up B, I don't know why it it was so close to hitting. That was the exact position where it could hit and maybe would have killed. But uh, Casey has a movie on life and is ca capitalizing very nicely here. Although misses another edge guard and the down air. Oh, that's crazy! Abrima is really doing a, a, an excellent job off stage. Like that's really what lost game one for him mm -hmm. in, in large part. And we're starting to see that turn around the other way. Yeah, you know, we saw that game one with the runoff Nairs getting a couple kills there, and in that last interaction, even though Casey did end up with the kill, they were afraid to go off stage because they'd been punished, like, what, three times in the past two games for doing so? Um, especially where, in a situation like Luigi, you know, going off stage and punishing can sometimes be really good. Um, so now down full stock, a full stock, let's see what Casey can do with this. Let's we'll see if we can make it competitive or if Abrim is going to run away with it. Yeah, I think we need to see Casey start to take charge of the ledge again, if this mm -hmm. is going to swing back in their favor. I don't hate that dash attack attempt. I, I don't love that second one, but, you know, if Luigi's throwing out a fireball, you can actually just go through it, completely disrespect it, <laughs> and hopefully hit Luigi too. Yeah, Palutena right. does not respect weak projectiles at all. Oh, but gets scared there, just going for a couple... <laughs> Just run up shields, and now once again on this left side of the stage where Abrima has sort of made it their home for the set so far, or this game rather. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say, I saw the grab there, did not quite land it. Yeah, okay, now going back to these run off mares and the down and misses that time, but yeah, the roll read up smash. Amazing stuff from Abrima to steal that. I That was looking like so solidly Casey for like one and three quarters of a game. And then Abrema just took the momentum at the end of game three and ran with it, or game two rather, and ran with it for game three. So really great stuff to him moving on. Um, Casey played super well though. I'll be curious to see how they do in loser's bracket, but a loss like that can't feel great. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're, it's, it's hard to feel great about a set where, you know, you lost a stock at 60. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, you know, hey, it happens. Sometimes the loser's stock is zero. Yeah, I, I think Casey should be proud that uh, there there were there was not a single Luigi combo, like kill combo that whole. Very set. true. You know that's a great point, Patch, because the most we saw Luigi get off of a grab was like forty. So the fact that Casey was doing that well to survive was such a testament to their skill. Um, there was that nair once again, the drag down. Yeah, the two the two time. Um, got some luck in game one, and unfortunately, that did not carry the rest of the set. Yo, I want to give shots to production because these these cuts to the player cams are perfectly timed. <laughs> oh my god! We get so, so much out of those reactions right there. And even look at uh, the overlay. We got a pronunciation guide for Ibrahim. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Look at that. You'll love to see it. Hey, who's doing it like Collision? Come on now. I, honestly, fair, fair question. <laughs> <laughs> love the little dash dance there. The, the know, non taunt taunt. Showing off a little bit. I still, that, that is like such a funny, creative kill to end the game. Sort of, uh, you know, getting some justice for those drag down nares that inexplicably worked in game one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, honestly. <laughs> That's a pretty strong spike. I know. Easy. I mean, Paolo was at like 60 post-hit, 45 or so pre-hit, and yeah, no chance of survival. I mean, I've played the Mario and Luigi games. It, it definitely hurts getting stomped by those boots. <laughs> true that, true that. And yeah, that was such a well-scouted out role. You know, Abrima knowing that Casey was probably trying to get back to center as soon as possible, and we'd seen him go for those up smashes throughout the set just not quite getting the time right on some of them but that one to end it that's the one that counts right so really great yeah. stuff to a brother there and like i was saying uh leading up to that the offstage game and the, the ledge game was really where palutena on paper should be winning that matchup and